Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I would like to show you how to uh, install self-host Formbricks on your own server. Formbricks is an open source alternative to Typeform, Qualtrics and Sprick. I don't know these other two, but I do know this one. It was pretty pricey. Um, and just not just that, but usually there's many more cool things about open source things. I haven't looked fully into it, but I just sense that this is cool and exciting stuff. Um, so let's get into this. So we get to Coolify, we select the project, we hit new, we search for form bricks and there it is. Click on it. I add it to my second server. I've got a video on that. Uh, check the link. Uh, standalone Docker. And here I go and say, okay, form bricks. Sounds great. Let's quickly generate a domain for this. I'll be putting this to my second server. So I use this IP address. My first one was this one, but I'm going to go for 23. Add proxy off. And I'm going to call this not form bricks, but I'm going to call this uh, forms. Yeah, I think forms is a good name. Forms that amazing. Okay, hit save. Go back over here. Hit save. Go back and just hit save again, just to be sure and hit deploy. And that should be it. I mean, Look how incredibly easy this is and, and what incredible amount of things we're, we're going to be able to, to create with this. Like it's, it's mind blowing exciting when you think about all the possibilities. It's like, oh gosh, so come on. Okay. Okay. Let's refresh. Yes. Good, good, good. Let's go. And it's not private yet. Okay, okay. A little bit more patience, Ronald. And there we go. Okay, cool. So, uh, 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 let's see if we already have a user account or something like that. Uh, we got Postgres stuff. Uh, let's just create an account. I think that's the way to do it. And we're inside, so I think this is pretty cool. Uh, mm -mm. start creating service I think this is pretty cool I think it's pretty cool I still gotta look very much into this um, but I don't know it looks good all right thank you for your time and attention um, and uh, yeah hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and see you in the next one bye